Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing the XM4 to change things up. I decided to wait on the knife just because, uh, I mean, this skin looks really cool. <laughs> like, I had to buy it and I wanted to play with it. It's, it's really, like, it's, it's not, it's not too deep. That's about it. It just looks sick and you shoot gobble guns. Plus, I, um, gave myself a, uh, repeat stress injury, repeat strain injury, uh, in my right arm because I, uh, had to click so many times for the headshots with the pistol like i wish that were a joke but i actually damaged my right arm for like days like i couldn't do anything with it so uh, i'm gonna be holding left mouse today and probably for the next few weapons like i know i probably clicked it over like twelve thousand times in the span of a couple days but still this is my first time using like a properly good gun in this game i feel i think oh that feels so nice Wait, did they just explode into gobble guns i know when i shoot this gun it leaves gobblegums on the ground, which is amazing. I love that so much. Are they like actual gobblegums in- Oh yeah, they explode into perks too. That's really cool. The fact that they have zombies themed mastercrafts in this game. It's so cool. Oh, I forgot a rampage reducer on. I gotta be careful. This gun's actually really freaking good. I wish I could be done with pistols. I still have one more, but I'm just not at the correct level. So I'm gonna take a break from them. Go around do a couple weapons I just feel like doing. And I'll make my way back to pistols after. I don't think they're adding any new pistols yet. So, you know. Once I'm done with pistols, I'll, I'll be done with them for a while. Oh, wait, does that gauge in the back determine how much ammo I have? No, it doesn't. Oh, it feels so good to have a full auto weapon. 100 round mag's nice too, and I know this thing's like modded out, so it kind of fails my challenge of starting everything at level one, but I, I don't care. This thing's too cool. Plus, my challenge is more of like a soft challenge anyway. I do only play the game when I'm grinding a camo for a gun, except for getting like thumbnails and stuff. So I, that's still enough, right? That's still enough of a challenge. W one gun here and there isn't isn't gonna derail the whole thing. This thing is still level one and I don't have anything unlocked. Never said I wouldn't wouldn't spend money to to, to get attachment. That's a totally different story. I actually didn't even spend money for it. I just had COD points lying around from I guess previous Call of Duties. Or I think it's from Vault Edition actually, because I upgraded to the Vault Edition. Because I wanted the uh seasonal content. The new zombies map drops at some point. So I wish I had I haven't even booted up Terminus. I need to do that. I'll probably grind out Terminus. When I get a gun that tells me to, I feel like Terminus looks very complicated and it looks really cool, but I don't know if it would be good for camos. I don't think so. I'll probably play it for fun every now and then. Like if I have a gun that is just super easy anyway, completely unchallenging, I might boot up Terminus just to add a challenge. This one's uh, a special case, really, because I'm only using it because my hand is uh, crippled at the moment. <laughs> so I need something I can just hold down. But next time there's a really good gun like this, I'll probably do it on Terminus, I feel like. Try it out a bit. And I also want to try Guided. I, I'm not going to do Guided for everything. I know gu Guided games are the new uh, meta for camos, kind of, but I think that'd get repetitive. Just running through these straight steps and mowing down zombies at level 15, you know, like there's no there's no challenge there's nothing interesting about that it's just easy and i i kind of want to have a bit of challenge in these let's go i got cookies and i want the runs to be a little different from each other like i understand the point of this series is more so um podcast like and for me to talk about things i understand the zombies gameplay is background but I still want the gameplay to differ, you know? I don't just want the conversations to be the thing that changes between videos. So I'll try and spice it up every now and then. Uh, someone recommended every now and then playing with a friend during this. And I, I might do that. I might occasionally pull someone in for a camo grind if the weapon's like super easy. Or if it's something interesting. Maybe try and do an easter egg while grinding a camo or something, who knows? That probably won't happen for the next couple though. Also, the, just the ground being covered in perks and everything is so cool. And I'm already at 100. This is so nice. It's so much better better dude oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i had another thing another thing that i wanted to do uh well a couple things i wanted to talk about today like a lot of things happened since last time because i kind of skipped a day because the the pistol because <laughs> it was on the uh gs45 so you know but uh, a lot of things happened one thing is someone told me this gun right here great for getting dead shot and even more so if you put the brainstorm on it. So now I got a big boy scope and I'm going to be getting dead shot every single time, which is huge for this grind. Thank you to that person in the comments. That is like one of the craziest tips I've received. Oh, and I had talked about before the Easter egg up there where you throw a grenade and it drops you an ether wrench and zombies fall from the sky. I was wondering if you could get different ether tools at different rounds. Apparently at round 20 it turns purple and at round 30 it turns legendary which is cool and all but i still think the only one that's really worth doing is the round 10 blue because by the time it's 20 or 30 let's be real 
you can probably afford the other ones anyway. <laughs> so like, who cares? Also another thing, if I prestige, I think I uh, would have to perma unlock, unlock it for Deadshot. I might do that. Let's see what packs like on this thing. I don't know if it has a special pack, but we'll find out. Zeistermeister. Is that lightning from the barrel from the skin or the pack? Probably the skin. God, this thing's so nice. A legitimately good gun. The first one I've done. Well, the GS45s are more than legitimately a good gun, just uh, only when they're packed. This thing's just good. Packed or unpacked, anything. Well, that insta kill's not gonna get any use. All right, time to try this out. Easy. I'm gonna have this every time now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and if you have any tips uh, of your own, please comment them, because uh, I'm purposely kind of not looking at other Call of Duty videos. Because I just kind of want to see what people say. And I don't know if anyone has this has this memory. Probably. So in the past, before the internet was like... Well, it, okay, it was always like massive within my life. But in early Minecraft, for example, right? People saw the Aether Portal online. And they thought it was... Uh, they thought it was real. I was included in that. I, I actually didn't know about the Nether either. So I tried making the Aether Portal. It didn't work. And then I was like, oh, okay, it's a mod, whatever. And then I went to build the Nether Portal after. I was like, wait a minute. This one's real. That's crazy. And, and I kind of wanted to re live a fraction of that with this game because i know this game is chocked full of easter eggs right and all kinds of things that are just really cool and i just want to be blind to it so if someone in the comments tells me something that's completely heinous and wrong i'll try it <laughs> and sometimes it'll be wrong and sometimes it'll be actually something that is real even if it sounds insane you know 200 already yeah this is going fast it's not hurting my arm at all yeah my wrists have always been very weak they like if i hold something the wrong way or if i carry something too heavy they'll like dislocate itself the same as my shoulders could probably get that looked into at some point but you know it is what it is it just kind of always been like that everyone's got their own little weird <laughs> <laughs> Weird quirks like that. The gobble gums, dude. That's so cool. How many can I get on the ground? A lot. I can get a lot. Oh, okay. Well, I wish I kept my ammo now. Oh, yeah, going back to the topic about old Minecraft. Uh, Hero Prime in the early ages was another one of those myths. And even more so because it ended up in the uh in the updates log. I, I remember like going out with friends uh with friends and trying to find Hero Brian in caves. You know, as kids, you're gonna make stuff up, right? So there would be situations where it's like X person sees Hero Brian in a cave, allegedly, right? And then you bring it all down there, it's like, oh my god, this this structure from these videos is there. Like they have the, they have the nether rack with the with the torch on it and the gold block. Stuff like that. It's just I want stuff like that to happen again. It feels like ever since the internet has spread more and more, you can kind of just Google and fact check everything right away and while i appreciate that heavily it does ruin some of the i suck man it does ruin some of the mystery there's just something missing there and maybe it's not even the fact that the internet's become more prevalent and that there's information everywhere maybe it's just the fact that i guess i've grown up a little so there's no longer the uh i'd say i still have more childlike curiosity than most very uh science brained i want to figure out why things work the way they do and ask questions on everything but i, I do feel that it's definitely less childish curiosity than you have as an actual child and i do miss it to an extent oh wait i didn't i didn't fail i don't suck wait i thought i sucked i don't suck that's news to me i was like convinced that i was garbage don't kill me i just want salvage i just want i just chill chill dude oh my god this is so nice just hold left mouse and just spray this thing's so freaking good wait i didn't actually check what the requirements are past gold i guess i'll have to check that later no, no, don't tap, don't tap. You have you have hand problems at the moment. <laughs> you gotta wait for those to heal first. That's why you're using this gun, you idiot. I'm already at... Th oh, okay, I thought it was 400. Still, 300 is fast. One thing I wanted to talk about is... Uh, oh, hello. All right, let me kill the dog first. Hold up. I'll get back to that thought in a moment. Dog's got hands. All right, never mind. This, gun, this gun's got hands. What I was going to say before I got so rudely interrupted by a giant hell beast is that uh, yesterday was kind of crazy i don't know if i'd call it the uh the worst experience of my life because i've had some crazy ones but uh <laughs> it, was, it wasn't great so i do half like contracting stuff on my own and then like some through a company uh in this case it was through a company and i was building a structure in someone's yard and i had gotten like all the walls of the structure foundations and all that right and i was onto the roof this the roof roof whatever bark bark and dog moment the weather was great like not a cloud in the sky right and the moment you get to the roof uh it decided 
that there was going to be a singular storm cloud located above me. I think it was like a 5% chance of rain or something. And it just started like pouring while <laughs> I'm on the roof. <laughs> and uh, my gloves weren't waterproof. Like nothing was waterproof. So I'm left with the choice here to finish this thing. Yeah, I'm like 30% of the way through with the roof, right? So I have like 70% of it left to do, but everything else is done. So my choices are finish this or come back tomorrow. I didn't want to come back tomorrow. <laughs> so basically sat there drenched in the rain, putting shingles on the roof of something in someone's backyard. I did, however. Oh, great power. That's huge. I won't use that for the entire series, I don't think. So basically I was in a random guy's uh, yard in the dark, in the rain, and it's freaking cold out because it's the winter months and I'm soaked and I'm amazed I didn't get hypothermia. Anyway, he gave me an in and out gift card, so you know what? All is well in the world. On the plus side, he uh, seemed to have a lot of respect after that, <laughs> which is cool, I guess. Little does he know. I only did it because I didn't want to come back the next day. There was no, like, crazy good morals involved there. It did take a while, though. It was like a couple hours in the cold rain. Terrible experience. Would not recommend. What the heck? Give me a second, I've been distracted. Dear mom, you were right. This town is perfect, small, but with deep pockets. Thanks to the defense contractor nearby, we go tonight. Sticky notes are placed. Snickerdoodles, your recipe, of course. I'm reading about snickerdoodles, okay? I, I'm gonna die. Death by snickerdoodles. It's not good. I'm reading lore. Let me read lore. Oh my god, you bled on my lore. Oh, you can kiss. Okay, I'm not reading that. Cool. <laughs> I love snickerdoodles. What was I talking about? I'm so easily distracted. I'm like a pigeon. Just, ooh, shiny. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, let me get the... Let me, let me blast the blaster. There we go, he's been blasted. Counter blasted even. I want to set the challenge for myself to beat this in the one match. I want to see if I can get all 2,000 headshots in this match. This masterwork is so cool, though. How does it interact with pack? I actually didn't check. Okay, so it has some text that you can barely see there, but for the most part, it... It's a really pretty gun though. I was torn between this because I only had enough COD points for one. Uh, because I really- Dragons are awesome. I, I used to read a- when I was younger, I used to read a story, a book series about dragons called Wings of Fire, if you've ever heard of it. I was like obsessed with dragons, like Skyrim, everything that had dragons I'd do. So I really wanted the draconic like character skin, but uh, let's be real. I'm making videos on zombies and this gumball AK is crazy. Not to mention the ray gun skin. Oh, and the weaver operator. I forgot to select the weaver operator. Wait, I'm dumb. I have a new weaver operator. The character I've been playing anyway. It's like perfect. I'm gonna have to go put that on. If this grind goes well, I won't be putting it on this grind though. But yeah, in real life, I do a lot of, um, I guess, contracting, engineering type things. I've done house remodeling. I've made some showers, built shed, all kinds of random stuff. I've built like rock walls and stuff. It's been all over. Should I pick up this note? Classified? Wait a minute. Is, is the apocalypse so bad that Snickerdoodle's cookies are classified? What is wrong with this world? If Snickerdoodles are classified, I don't want to live in it. <laughs> oh, I should be doing those. I should be doing Sam trials. I should like be doing those for free kills. I'm gonna go do that. Oh, just kills in location. <laughs> okay. This is like the most nothing Sam trial of all time. Easiest one ever. Oh, you're camo grinding. Quick, go do what you do anyway, but I'll pay you for it. I don't want to reload. There we go. I remember when uh, Max Ammo used to not replenish your current mag. What dark days. New Max Ammo, so much better. Nowhere but there. Wait, is it? Oh, that's one that teleports you to teammate. Pretty useless for me now, but if I do decide to do some camo grinding with friends at some point, then that will be huge. Because I might. I might do that. Not a bad idea. I'm debating how I'd want to do it. Whether it would just be playing with a friend and doing funny moments, or like, uh, like an interview type thing, where I just talk to them about things in their life. I don't know. Because I very much more view these videos as a laid-back thing for people to just chill and listen to. I, d I don't want to go all, in this video, or... <laughs> like, that's just not me. I've tried doing that in the past, but it's just, it's so artificial and fake, and I don't like doing it. Not just, is it hard for me to talk like that? It's hard for me to sit down and edit a video after that because I'm cringing at myself. And it's hard for me to enjoy the creative process. With a video like this, I can sit down and edit the whole thing and I'm just happy with it because I'm just being myself. I'm not creating a character or trying to fit into any niche really. I'm not doing anything artificial. I do want to know more of the Easter eggs around this map though. If anyone knows them, let me know. Or if, or if you want to come up with an entirely fake Easter egg that isn't real, you know what? Post that in the comments as well, because uh, I'm always down for a little trolling. <laughs>
Like, I'd love someone to give me detailed steps for an easter egg that just seems like it's totally a thing. And me to do it and just nothing to happen. That would go crazy. I welcome a little bit of, uh, a little bit of trolling. This thing freaking shreds, man. On round 27 with all the pistols, I was not struggling, but it took a lot of shots. And this one, it just melts. That's 28 back-to-back -back headshots right there in that one mag? What? Oh yeah, I didn't check. Does the Pack-a-Bunch have an effect on the gobble gums on the ground? No, not even the impact hole. The impact hole is the color of gobble gums. I didn't even notice that earlier. That's awesome. This is a really cool skin. You know what? I think I am gonna do a co-op video at some point. Bring some people in and talk about stuff. I don't know what theme it'll be in. It'll either be just like us screwing around or uh we're talking about things. I'm not sure. It'll be one of the two, but I think it'll be interesting. Change things up every now and then. Majority of the videos are going to be me by myself just chilling, but you know, sometimes uh, I'll, I'll throw in something a little different, something weird there. A thousand, there we go. We're halfway already. Also, I don't know how I feel about this thing with the pack a bunch camo. I think this thing looks way cooler without pack a bunch. I should have turned off camo, uh, pack a bunch camos. What is that? Oh, I want to eat it. Rude. I think if I ever do another one of these where I'm using a custom skin, right? Or like a masterwork, I think I'll turn off pack a bunch camo because that is a setting you can choose. I just didn't think about it. I'm also not going to try and extend the length of these videos. Like if a gun just goes crazy, right? And the video ends up being like, or and the recording ends up being shorter. The video is just going to be shorter. I'm just going to put the interesting stuff in there. Like, I'm not going to draw it out for the 30 minute mark or something. There's no reason to do that, you know? If a gun's crazy, the video might be 10 minutes. We'll see. I don't imagine any gun's going to be crazy enough for a 10 minute video, but I mean, maybe. If I survive prison shit on a shingle? Oh god, him even saying shingle it brings back the memories. Oh my god, my neck just popped like a, like a glow stick. What was that? Anything good? Oh, I have to be crouching, right? Yeah, like I told you, you have to crouch for that. It's not, um, it's not dependent on whether you're holding a melee weapon or a gun. You just have to crouch. Oh, hello. Hi, both of you. How's it going? Popped right on out of the, out of the freaking ground. That's cool. And here's the mangler in its natural habitat. As it comes through the concrete, it's looking for its meal. I don't know. <laughs> old nature documentary. I miss Steve Irwin. Uh, even for this thing, I mean, it's still doing great, don't get me wrong, but round 30 really is a hard fall off in this game. The amount of brain rot nowadays is crazy. I mean, I I'm not saying, like, the amount of brain rot content, because that's fine, right? But the, <laughs> the amount that is triggered in my head personally, I can't see the phrase among us. I can't see among, I can't see any of that without an actual vine boom triggering in my head. It's so bad. This is by far the fastest I've gone through a gun. I'm at 1,373 kills, and it's been 50 minutes. That is insane. God, did you see the little spider legs in the ground? It's so bad. I hate those things. I don't even have arachnophobia at all, but I hate those. Those are worse than spiders. Hmm, I wonder what I will perm unlock first. Probably not sniper. I, we'll have to see. You know what I'll do? I'll save it as a zombies loadout like I have. When I get to prestige, I'll see if it's still saved as a zombie loadout, even though I don't technically have it unlocked. And if it is, then I'm not going to perma unlock it. The, the quality of life of Deadshot for this grind is so massive that I think that is my most worthwhile perma unlock. But I'm still a ways out from that. Uh-oh. Oh, we're in one-shot territory, and that's a big guy who can't figure out how minor obstructions work. Also, it's interesting to me that abominations are not round dependent. They are just a force that exists within your game. You don't have to kill it to progress the round or anything. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about, uh, 3,400, almost 3,500 subscribers is what I have. And I know that's considered small, but I really just kind of thought about it. Like that that's a lot of people who each have their own lives that I know nothing about, <laughs> who have each decided that they enjoy watching my videos. Like. My school, my high school, had 2,400 people. There are more people subscribed to my channel than there were people in my entire high school. 
and I never really talked to even like 90% or more of the people there. It's crazy to think about. So I, it's a little overwhelming, honestly. I'm gonna die, hold up. Let me just, I gotta use the thing. But yeah, I, I have no idea what even to think about it. It's like the, the number almost loses meaning at that point. I can only imagine what it's like for people with like 100,000 or even like 10,000 subscribers. The thought of how many people that is is crazy. I, for one, I'm, I'm grateful to have what I have and I, I hope to continue continue releasing content that people enjoy. Wait, can you really just run zombies over? Can you just sprint through them? <laughs> you can. You know what? <laughs> it's funny if I do the same trial when I'm in danger. Why not make things a little harder? Okay. Okay, there. Okay, there, bud. <laughs> Get me out of here. 15 more? Are you kidding me? That's it? I can't die now. I just can't do that. No, man. No, I'm like five kills off. I tried so hard, man. Yeah, yeah, just do it. Just do it. Okay, 11. Are you kidding me? 11, really? Uh, Napalm Burst. Okay, cool. Uh, Vermin. Oh, God. Oh, right. I have to go to my augments. I should be done with... Yeah, I'm done with it now. I use Cryo Freeze researching. Oh, my God. I got two in a crown. Well, I guess I can equip those. I want to research Napalm Burst, though. I'm so sad that I didn't finish it in one game. I so could have. I just threw. I skill issued. Oh, this thing's so cool. Yeah, it definitely looks way cooler without back a punch. Let's be real. One of these it shrinks. Is that the one? Yeah, there it is. Look at it. It's a little guy. It's tiny. It's so cool. All right. Let me get my round one finish on these camos. Yay, purple tiger, woo! Also, is it me? Wait a second, how am I just realizing this? My ADS with this, the, the ADS is not centered. Uh, hello? Bugs! Bugs! Yes! Oh, that didn't do it, I need more bugs. Give me more bugs. I ain't got no bugs around? No, no, oh, hey, what's up? Never mind, we got a bug. I heard a bug, I heard a bug. Get over here, are you skittering? There you are. Let's go! That was the last bug! Now I just need uh, another 90 kills or so. Oh, duh. I didn't equip Napalm Burst for a while, so the number I was looking at is just wrong. There we go. Now I just need rapid kills. Let's go! I'm going to celebrate it by dying to the dog and finding out what its death animation looks like. Come at me. Yes, 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 yes. If the vermin did it, I'll be pissed. Yes, it's the dog. Oh, that's my arm. I just ate my arm, okay. So he eats your arm and freaking laser blasts you. Got it. Mystic gold. My first non-pistol done. I don't think I'm a high enough level to get the other pistol yet, so I'm probably going to be experimenting with another gun next. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll be finishing the pistols next time then. That's good. Uh, this one has a massive magazine, but I think it has like low damage or something. It's semi-auto, so this thing's going to absolutely destroy my hand. Good to know. Regardless, I want to see what this thing looks like in game real quick. Look at that. If there's anyone left to save, that thing goes crazy. There's boxing gloves on the back? Oh, is that just melee macchiato at the top? I didn't realize that till just now. Yeah, this thing looks good in gold. Yeah, that was the XM4 though, with the gumball ballistic skin. Yeah, this thing was way stronger than any of the guns I've done yet. Well, during the camo grind. This was the easiest camo grind I've had yet to the point that I finished it twice as fast as my fastest pistol grind. That is insane. Like, it's either this thing goes crazy or the pistols are trash. I guess I'll see as I do more. Anyway, that's all for today. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Later.